Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is going to be a nice little Sunday vlog. I need a nice like Sunday reset. Most Sundays I'm hungover. Okay, let's be honest. I don't leave my head bed and I don't do anything. A productive Sunday like this happens about three times a year. So here we go. I used to be like such a Sunday reset girl and then I just started like going out more and like there's just no way, you know? I'm having some coffee drama, guys. My espresso isn't working and I haven't figured it out. I do have iced coffee, but I am also, my ice machine is not working. I have a big mess these days. I was like so excited for Vlogmas and I got like new Nespresso pods and I was going to make like cute coffees from home and um, my Nespresso machine isn't working. Machine. I am going to froth my coffee creamer cold and just like see what happens. How are you guys liking Vlogmas? I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, Nut Pods Oat Milk, the Cinnamon Dulce one. Looks good. I'm gonna froth it. Like, this without ice, just any coffee without ice is like, it's literally iced coffee, you know? At least it's cold. <clears throat> I also don't know how to fix my ice machine maker. I, I desperately need my mother to come over and just like, fix some things for me, you know? Like, the lights on the bottom of my tree being number one, and the espresso being number two. <gasps> Guys, maybe I can make my chicken and dumpling soup. Let me see if this chicken's good. No, I do need more chicken, but I really do want to make that soup. We'll see. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be good with it froth in here, but honestly, like, I just I need to. What do you guys like in my vlogs? Because I like the really chill ones the best. Like, what do you guys think? I'm kind of like at a loss. I really don't know what kind of vlogs I should be doing because I don't know what you guys want. Okay, that seems to be about right. Let's see? I don't know if I should have done that with cold water or with cold coffee. I like, it's kind of weird. But it's like foamy. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Yum. Wow. It tastes so good. So, I'm back doing my morning reading and journaling, which we love on this channel, as you guys know. I recently got the Daily Stoic. I ordered this on Amazon. It took so long to arrive. I, like, had forgotten that I even ordered it. It's 366 meditations on wisdom, perseverance, and the art of living. I have heard this talked about literally everywhere, especially on this Getting Confidential, but I feel like everyone loves this book. I used to have like devotionals and stuff back in the day, and that's not really like my thing anymore, but I do miss like having something to read every morning, like a little snippet. It's literally the same thing, just like a different like perspective. What's today's date? December 4th. Oh my gosh, guys, we just got an order for a puff bag. It's the best sound to hear. That literally sounds like my podcast, Asri, but I just mean it. You don't own that. So I'm going to read this, and then I'm going to do my morning pages, which I maybe should have done before I read that. And then, like, maybe a little bit of reading. I I don't mean to brag, but if any of you guys are in, like, the Magnolia Parks world, it's a book series that's literally incredible. If you guys haven't read it, you really need to. It's basically, like... A way better version of like Gossip Girl, but in London, but Gossip Girl is not really the right, right way to describe it. It, Like the way that I feel so attached to the series, it's kind of like my adult version of Twilight, but not like it's better written and it's like they're better books than Twilight, like way better. They're very, very well written. She, They've gone by, viral on Book Talk recently, but I don't know if you guys remember the whole reason that my podcast turned into like a Navigating Your 20s podcast was because I kept having Jessa Hastings on, who was, I was going to about my 20s, just a friend of mine that like, I really adore and like love and respect. She's the author. So when we were talking about the books that she was writing, and I, that's how we became friends, was she was sending them to me before they came out, just to like get my feedback, like editing or whatever. She just knew I was a reader. Um, not that my feedback really matters. I don't know why she ever asked for that, now that I'm really thinking about it. They're Jessa's books from those podcasts. And if you've not listened to those podcast episodes, they're so, so, so good. I'm like really, I'm like Disney Channel, you know? Anyways, she has three out. The fourth one's coming out this month, I think. Or is it two out and the third one's coming out? I don't know. I've read them all, I just get confused. But she sent me the next one that is an hour. So don't mean to brag, but um, I am an advanced reader and it's incredible. So I stayed home last night to read that on a Saturday night. And here we are, guys. I'm going to read 
and journal and feel better in my life because as you know I've been like in an anxious hole and I actually realized last night it's because of PMDD and I start period next week but I've been in this really bad anxious hole where I feel like I'm doing nothing I'm worth nothing in career wise I suck I've never succeeded in anything I'm horrible at my job you know all those like really nice things so I'm gonna get my life back together today Gosh, should I do a video like trying different morning people's morning routine videos? Like, I could try out Lauren Bossix, I could try out whoever. I don't actually know exactly Lauren's. I can ask her for it, but I feel like that could be fun, you know? But I don't think our morning routines are really that different. But she does a lot of morning. Actually, yeah, they are, because she sleeps with that stuff on her on her mouth. Do you guys like the videos that are just like vlogs and more laid back and just like Pretty much unedited, very in my life. Or do you like the videos where I'm like, like trying harder? You know, like where it's more of like, it's a topical video. It's like trying so and so's morning routine, doing being Martha Stewart for a day, like that stuff. What do you guys prefer? Okay. Since it's Sunday and I'm going to Pilates, my. I have like five minutes to get ready. I feel like the TikTok people that everyone gets so mad about and they're like, I have five minutes to get ready, you know? Um, something about me is I will never, besides right now, have five minutes to get ready. My days are so carefully planned and I'm so anxious when it comes to time that will literally, it never happens to me. But anyways, guys, I wore, I went to dinner the other night as you guys saw. And it was like hot out. I was wearing this big coat. I don't know what has happened. Okay, I have too many sets that are not like pants. Ooh, I could go like full. I never wear this. And I feel like it is cold enough because I'm going to go on a walk after with Macy. And I would like to have like a nice little long sleeve. I was just going to wear like a normal long sleeve. I don't know if it's like cold enough. I feel like I should save this. Okay, all of my cute sets. I have a lot of laundry that needs to be done, so that would also be why. Also, like, look at how cute this set is. I love it, and I got it, and, like, it is really cute, but it kind of, like, isn't as cute on me. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe I will wear it today, though, because I don't think I've gotten enough wear out of it. I feel like that's going to be my look today, even though I just said it's not that cute on. I do really like it. I just feel like on me, I don't know how much I love it. And then... I need a long sleeve, a long sleeve white top, which is risky, but I will have a uh, thing on. Also, my hokas are in the wash, so I've got to figure that one out. I have like new balances. I don't think they're in here though. I think they're in my other closet. Guys, I don't know if that's, because I only have these green shoes. Yeah, way too much color. I'll wear this to go weightlifting tomorrow. That's gonna be the vibe. Sometimes I just cannot do the color. Okay, this, and then we're, there's like a matching top somewhere for this. I have, Year of Ours, by the way, is by far, I know I feel like I say this all the time, by far my favorite um, athletic wear, and then I also love Set Active. Let me know if you guys want a video where I like go through my closet and just say, because I did record an entire podcast episode that's like, my faves of the year but I feel like going through my closet and like seeing it could be a little bit different and like oh, oh, oh wait good I found the, a matching sports bra thank god that's all I needed um I feel like going through my closet like extensively and saying like what I wore what I didn't wear the best buys could be a good video I don't know how I would title that but here's a better view of my outfit I love the scarf turned over it makes me feel like five years more mature I don't know I can't explain it also I do have a new ornaments from Charlotte Tabo, as you guys saw, Bria got me this one for Christmas, and then I have more in my car that we'll have to hang later today. But I'm heading off. I carry everything in this bag. Like I have my AirPod Maxes, which I still can't get over the price. And my Kindle. I have a whole bag of skincare. I have like literally everything in here for after. Thank God. Okay, I'm really excited. I'm taking from Rachel at Shine. It's hip hop explicit. Which, like, you know, you live in Texas when they have to specify that. But, like, it, it's my favorite of the classes. Also, Versace sunglasses. Obviously. Do I look like a Pilates mom? 
I think I do. All right, guys. Oh, the lighting is not amazing. Um, I made it to Pilates. I'm about to go in. I always bring in, this just fell, I always bring in a bro winning housewife tumbler. I feel like I'm always so into gift guides for the holiday season, like it's my favorite thing to do. But I still haven't made one this year just because I'm like, I don't know where to put it. I think I might make them on TikTok, like I really don't know and then I'll link them on like LTK or something. That was such a good workout. But um, I feel disgusting and I have to go meet Macy. I showed this in a morning routine vlog, but I have this fittish like toned down spray. I, always, I, gotta, I gotta wrap my head around things. Okay, yeah. To use after a workout, and it helps so much because I do a lot of heated workouts and then also my face just gets red in general. Um, and it helps like tone down your skin so much. It's like CBD. I'll link it for the workout girls. It's really nice keeping your car, especially if you just like go somewhere after. Good. One thing about me, I'll always spray it 20 times. So, anyways, heading off. Everyone loved my puff bag, which made me so happy. Don't forget, guys, we're doing a Dallas pop up December 8th. Guys, look who's back. Yeah, I one of seen us. You in like two months. I know, that's actually weird. No, it's like two weeks. Oh, yeah. Also, one of us just woke up and one of us just went to Hot Pilates. So, guess who? I was, like, I was laughing at myself now. when I said I would go eight. As I was joking. I was joking, but you didn't pick up on the joke. I was like, or we can go to 11. I was kidding. Oh my god. Macy she, goes, she, no response. She was like, do you want to walk at 15? I was like, no. No, I literally no. <laughs> I know. So I wouldn't crazy. wish that upon <laughs> our worst enemy. Who no, is our worst enemy? Should we have a collective worst okay, enemy? Yeah. I'll think Let's somewhere. clickbait this. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> our worst enemy. You know the trend Genius? where it's like you show your phone, it's like yeah. it's like an influencer I don't like. Yes, okay. we should do that. Um, we should share our ics about each other. <laughs> Shut up. Wait, that's good. That's my next TikTok. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I have one. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. No, we went and we ordered our coffees and everything was going great, but then we waited 39 minutes. Okay, she didn't find that. <laughs> we probably waited like 15 or 20. Like, actually. But, um, it's okay. It was just really crowded in there and a lot was going and on. And we're both antsy and want to get on this walk. No, and like, I was overstimulated, but it's fine. Okay, but we're trying the gingerbread latte with oat milk. I've tried it and I want her, I want her to try it now. And like, I don't, I, okay, like, you know my favorite Starbucks? Yeah. Christmas order is a chestnut pit latte. Love. But it's so like sweet. It? No, it's... It is sweet, okay. but I don't like sweet drinks, which is the weird thing. That's just my childhood phase, if you will. Yeah. But like day to day, I don't, I don't know. I was drinking too many sugar. I feel things. like you're gonna like this, because it's not too sweet. Oh, it's very good. Isn't that so well, good? Well, I'm glad, because I would have fought you. No, I know. I like that. No. When were we you were, nervous? No, when we were waiting, I was like, oh my god, we were waiting so long, but she doesn't even like the drink, and it's like too sweet, and she spits it out. Do you want her to go? <laughs> I'm also the least picky person ever, no, so like okay. it's pretty easy, yeah. you know? <laughs> Macy had so many friends inside, it's so popular. No, yeah, I was doing a meet and greet inside of Foxtrot. But we're gonna walk now. Yeah. We are. Also, if you guys are enjoying Vlogmas, I just want to say you're welcome because I am the one she that the texted reason. her and I told her that she should do it because um, I post about one YouTube video a month, if that, and I was like, you, you were more consistent before like the past month. Yeah. Um, but. <laughs> Sorry, I'm blinking. That's why she talk. would like to take all credit for the vlogmas because I told her to do it. I she was bullied like, me into it. I said when we got here, so my mental health is deteriorating, and it's all your fault. And I was basically like, if I could, I would. So you should. That okay, Doctor Sue. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you the funniest part. How I bullied him. Um, Amazing. What? <laughs> I'm literally. This is. I was vlogging, and this is the audio <laughs> that I got. <laughs> Guys, okay, so Macy is updating me on her dating life right now. And? Like, I she just, has some questionable thoughts. No, I just think, without giving too much away, what the fuck? <laughs> like, honestly, Macy, like, we're, we're moving on. This is not the guy for you. <laughs> you guys, if he is, I'm gonna come back. He's not. <laughs> you know what, fine, if he is, I'll pay for the wedding. <laughs> That's how confident I am. That's not the one. Not at all. I'm like, she's telling me more in the story, and I'm like, 
Uh, yeah. He would annoy you. <laughs> yeah, he would. He's already annoying you. Yeah. She's had to bully him. Like, oh my, you know, I guess sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh. You guys, if anyone needs tips on how to get a guy to actually execute plans, just come to me. Yeah, she says to bully them. So. <laughs> it's a great sign. Sounds well, like he's guys, really. Kenzie pays for the wedding. <laughs> um, everyone is invited because it's open bar. <laughs> um, no. Wait, look how cute. We this came so to Bishop cute. Arts. And yeah, I'm supposed to be being productive, and instead, Macy no. had me drive her to Bishop Wait, Arts. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Think this. Maybe we go shopping a little bit too. Okay, she goes, Macy. I need to get my brows. Macy done. made me drive her <laughs> drive to Bishop Arts. We're in the car and she goes, Oh, should we go to Tribal and try that? Have you tried the sunshine morning? No, good drink? morning because she's like, That looks so disgusting, which I get. I'm the biggest hater of it. You and Danielle. Danielle, but, I hope Danielle's watching this because every time I post it, she's like, I don't get it. No, I, so swipe, like, it's I, good. I swipe up every time. I'm like, No. And Danielle's a ginger lover, so. Yeah, that's okay. true. So Actually, I'm, she would really like it. She's not a coffee girl though these days, so that would also be that would be a hurdle. I'm like, yeah, Danielle hasn't been drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. Um, okay, but what was I gonna say? I did not make her drive me. It was her, her idea. Perspective is a little bit off. Okay, like we've got to go do a little bit of shopping. I have so it's much actually to really cute right now. Um, I actually have a lot to do too. Like I, I woke up. And I was like, oh, I don't have anything. But now that I'm like over here trying this gross drink, I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to like you. figure out a way to get out of it. Yeah. Okay. It's really cute. Like, like, is there gonna be any spots? I yeah, hate having to do these apps. I know. Because it's like every app is different. Just do one app. And like, honestly, I know we're not supposed to have monopolies, but I think this would be a really good monopoly in the states. I agree. It okay. The parking. Okay, app. wait. Let's go through and talk about some things that should be monopolies. Um, parking apps. Parking. It should all um, be one app. app. Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it, it needs to be like margaritas. The way they're made needs to be a monopoly. Needs to be a monopoly because like think about it. You go to certain places and they're horrible. Yeah. And other places they're amazing. And it needs to be either. I'm okay with two options. Just yeah. for a classic. And then we can, you know, like a spicy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then another thing that needs to be an op monopoly is vanilla lattes. Oh, couldn't agree more. Oh my gosh, there's I don't nothing. Even order them I'm there's scared. nothing worse than getting a vanilla latte and it absolutely ruining your day. And you know, when do you guys know like the bad coffee that immediately makes your head hurt? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I get really anxious. Yeah, same. Okay. We'll think of more. More monopolies. Um. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna find parking. Like, we'll get back I'm, to you. But it's really, okay. This is okay, crazy. Do you have another one? No. Okay. Um. Wait, look okay. at the farmers market. It's really cute. Yeah, it is really cute. I should have called It's more of like a thrift. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's a farm market. I think it's like a. So we're just backpack. making light of the fact that there's no parking. Maybe this is a sign that I should not try this drink. No, it isn't. You're trying the drink. Okay. All right, we're walking in. Are you excited? Great. You're buying it. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I know that one. Okay, cool. Guys, Macy just tried it. <laughs> I talk such, and it's so good. I talked so bad about this for so long. Every time she posted a story, anytime she talked about it, I was like, Kenzie, that is orange juice with espresso. Please go get your brain checked. She was bullying me, actually. It's I so really good. like it. It's literally so good. Okay, so I good love money from Tribal. I love the juice from Trader Joe's. It's like the Power C one. It has like mango, orange juice, everything, and I like crave that when I wake up. But I also like coffee, and like those two don't really go together. Like you know, if you yeah. have like orange juice and coffee, mm -hmm. that's why I couldn't that's really picture it. Point, yeah, so I couldn't picture it. This would replace two of my drinks. Yeah, but if I, can't I lived in this, this neighborhood, I would get it every morning. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I don't want to learn how to make it though, because I feel like that like takes away from like you know my time here. Okay, it's okay, so good. It's really good. I was also skeptical of the no ice, mm -hmm. but it works. Ice would be kind of weird with it. It's incredible, guys. If you're in Dallas, gotta go. Wow. Okay. It is so cute. Oh my god. Macy's teaching me how to vlog. She said that I should be getting footage of this. And I'm just not. See, I would be if I was staying. It's very cool. I love the storefront. <gasps> cute. No, like everything in Bishop. I'm telling you, it's the best neighborhood in Dallas. It really is. Macy needed this today. <laughs> I'm 
home, I've showered, I feel amazing. I'm really glad I did something social and also worked out today because it just puts me in like a much better headspace. I'm also kind of coming to terms with the fact that I don't think I actually feel this way, I think it's PMDD. And then also, I feel like on YouTube, December is always my flop era. No matter how much I love Christmas, I don't know what it is, but my slay era is January because it's routines, it's productivity, all that stuff. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys a little ornament haul, if you will. Before I get working, it's 3 p.m. I have a lot to do, I've gotta edit vlogs. I've gotta do, I'll, we'll get to that in a second. I have an electrician coming pretty soon um, to replace my two lights. I'm like wondering, like, okay, I'm doing it anyways, but like that light, I'm also putting it in my kitchen right here. Like, but I think it's gonna be fine. I don't think it's weird. And then it's also going in my closet, as we know, because <laughs> literally the most annoying thing. Anyways, I have this espresso martini ornament. I also have this oyster ornament because this is the year that Lauren and I went and got oysters real lot, especially really like recently. And then I also got this pot because this is also the year of soup, even though every year is the year of soup to me. So it's fine. I need to cut these off and then I'll put them on. Oh, I also got some stuff from Sur La Table. Is that how you say it? My favorite cooking cost place. I got new measuring cups. These are so much nicer than what I have and I find like I feel like I'll use these way more. Well, you'll use the same amount, but I like these more. And then I just got a ton of like measuring. Well, I got like mixing bowls and then I also just got like ingredient bowls, which I needed anyways. So I'm gonna get to work making a lot of TikToks today and then also just doing much stuff of the kind. Let me sit down and then we can regroup. Wait, I, sorry guys, I forgot. I got some stuff on Amazon. I got this like iPhone stand because Bria had it at the cooking class and I'm like, this is how people have so much like vertical video and I just like never have it set up correctly. I also like, ne like even this right now, horrible angle for me. I look back at photos of, or videos of myself when I was 20 and I was like, listen, I didn't even look like that. It's just the fact that I only filmed myself when I looked the worst and the angles were horrible and I still do that. So I'm always gonna look back and be like, wow. Um, I got a Santa hat, they actually came with two, and I thought these were like cuter than the rest of them because they're like a little more crocheted or whatever. Uh, we're going to a Santa bar crawl this weekend, so I had to get that. And then I also got a knife sharpener because I've never once sharpened my knives and I've had them for like two years, and that's really bad. My stepdad sharpens his knives literally every time he uses them. So I got this because I figured it's actually very important and I've been noticing it lately and I should have started doing that forever ago. So that's my little Amazon haul. But we are getting our lives together, making lists, checking them twice, just kidding. Um, making lists, getting our lives together, getting stuff done, gonna feel accomplished and ready for this week and next year because I actually have a lot of my pod prep that I need to do. I feel like old with this robe on. A little less old. This robe is from Ugg. I have a really crazy robe collection. I actually should do a TikTok on that. Okay, so I'm going through my day. I made it on the notes app of like a to-do of all the things I need to do. I'm gonna write down my work list to do. Okay, edit, vlogmas, that's up there. EO kind TikTok, which I just made the funniest TikTok ever about a Jenner wearing the O kind. Go look. Your response. I do need to plan outfits for the shoot, which I already have. Tomorrow I'm doing like a rebrand shoot. It's not really a rebrand photo, Fully, but it's just like I need updated pictures and I want to use one as like a podcast cover Which norm normally that would be a lot more planned out I have it all like for what I'm gonna see for the life of me I cannot figure out exactly what I want so I'm gonna go through I do have a few outfits that I bought and we'll just see I just like can't have like a podcast covers are so hard for me to decide on like they've always been an issue Um, okay podcast prep for the next couple of months. Let me know what you guys want to see Just have a bunch of work that I need to do and then my lights are getting fixed in the middle of this he should be here actually like any minute now. Um, but I'm gonna get all this done. I'm like really proud of the TikTok I just made. It's like really funny. Oh, you know what? Um, I need to do my gift guide TikTok on my own. That's gonna take, I'm gonna do like a little gift guide under $100 on TikTok. So if you guys need gift guides, they're there. The light thing was a complete fail because one, the paint around it and two, light bulbs didn't come with it, which I thought it did because the last one, when he installed them, there were light bulbs. And then three, they only sent me one, and I thought I bought two. So, the closet one is not done. I'm also really hungry. Whew, it is hot. Okay, so I got a lot of work done. I had a few groceries delivered, the dog's dog food, just like random stuff for the week. 
I got myself for today this like grandma noodle chicken soup because I've always seen it at Sprouts and I've always wanted it but do you guys see how much better that looks? I would give anything to be able to read in my kitchen like I'm so over an all white kitchen and I'm so over like there's I wish that like my cabinets were different, I wish my handle, I, wanna, I wish everything was different, you know? Grilled chicken for both of the soups that I'm making this week. Oh, they got me two bone broths, I guess the other bona fide provisions were out. I don't know, I'm gonna need more than that, so that's not good. Carrots and celery. I'm so hungry, it's like not even funny. The ugly light is still here. Like, I think this is just a cute outfit with my boots anyways. Like, my knee-high cowboy boots. I don't know. I guess I could do this as one. I'm going to have, like, I think, like, four different looks. I also think that this could be a cute look with jeans. It's just, like, a really classic off the shoulder black sweater. I have this Good American set that I'm wearing. This is like the showstopper. And then I also have this like pink set that I got from Revolve that I thought would just be like a fun look. I would like to wear my black or my brown blazer, but I feel like I'm like gotta move on from it. You know what I mean? Like I've already worn it so many times. I also don't know, oh here it is. Like, I might just grab a pair of jeans and then put like a tank top on or something. I feel like that's like my best bet. White Skims t-shirts. I've been stuck in like a hole of work. Oh, these are my favorite jeans though. Like they're my favorite jeans, they're from Zara and they're a little bit more like structured looking. I don't know if I'm gonna love them with this, but okay. So these are the looks for tomorrow. That was so much faster than I thought. I mean, I had been planning them, but tote from the O kind. I don't even know where this stuff, it needs to be washed. By the way, I think as of right now, we have like four of these online. So if y'all want these tote bags, you need to get them. They're literally the best. We don't have plans to restock them as of right now, unless like we get like so many requests, but literally the best tote bag ever. Okay, where my shoes are. Oh, obviously my favorite. These are Sam Edelman. I will have all these linked, but like, they are so good. So Sam Edelman, for probably that, that. I do also have more Sam Edelman shoes that I think are just like, so cute. Who also have this like pink sweater set. Where did I wear this to? I love these shoes, Ray, the label heels. I also have these like crazy pink shoes. We have two hours to just take so many photos so i'm thinking like we should be good and then i'll also do probably like barefoot okay i feel good i was like a little bit stressed out just because i was like way overthinking this and so anyways i've gotten a lot done which i feel good about but i have a lot more to do and i would like to be off my laptop by like 8 30 which probably isn't gonna happen but a girl can drink so that is my hope just showered again to self tan my hair looks obviously incredible Wearing a breadwinning housewife crew. Um, these pajamas are from Soma and they're just so comfortable. Gonna get to editing. Oh wow. I've really never looked better. On one hand, <laughs> I always do have this like little doubt of like, oh, will people actually like this song? Like it might be total trash and I just don't know it. Um, but at the same time, if it's just like one person that can connect to the song and um, can inspire them to do what they love or inspire them in, in, in any way, then I'm like, okay, I've done my job.